Hey, what's up, guys? Um, my Bath and Body Works package just came. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, my Bath and Body Works package just came in the mail. I'm literally just sitting on the floor. I just opened it. So, I'm just going to go through and have a quick look and first impressions. I decided not to be lazy and just go ahead and put the camera up. Stop with the noise. Help. Mama's little helper is doing crazy. I only got one moisturizer. I would have got more, but I have so many. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use them all. And I'm honestly just getting tired of trying to use them all. Which sucks because I prefer the moisturizers over the fragrance mist, but whatever. I'll live. Stop buying stuff. Stop buying stuff. Don't shout in the background of my videos, chump. <laughs> so, I got Pure Wonder. Um, this lotion is $17.50. For what reason, I do not know. The packaging, yeah, it's $17.50, but I only paid $5.95, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mind your business. It does have texture on it, but I don't know. That's not like $17.50. That's not $17.50 worth of packaging. But anyway, this smells just like the perfume which i got for free a couple months ago when bath and body works was giving it away um it smells like a sparkling raspberry white floral i guess i smell amber it kind of reminds me a little bit of um the amber that's in fairy tale The notes are iced rosé, star jasmine, and warm light amber. And moving on. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this one. This is what I was the most excited for. And I was a little bit nervous because the notes listed are different than they normally list them. So I have a soap. Okay, this soap is empty. But this is flannel. And the notes on the bottle of the you know the home fragrance line is crisp autumn air heirloom mahogany and cedarwood the notes on the back of the body care are fresh bergamot patchouli spice and sweet amber and when i smelled this i almost had a heart attack because as far as i can tell it's the same scent okay that's not a bad thing that's great that's awesome that's wonderful because it is my favorite scent. And no, I don't want to share. And no, I don't care that it's a men's body care item. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. And it shouldn't bother you either. It is a little unisex. In my opinion, I feel to where no one's going to tell you you smell like a boy if you're walking around wearing this. I don't think. Malia. I did ask you not to take the tops off because that's how I smell them. Stop. Okay, so now we're going to play the guessing game because I don't feel like smelling all of them, finding the tops, and then acting like this didn't happen. So, I'm going to try to guess based on the notes which cap belongs to which one. I already sprayed them in a cap. So, this smells like... Amber, it's sweet. It reminds me of Cloud. So I have in front of me Hope, Twinkly, Midnight Sky, Joy, Gingham, Heart of Gold, Sleigh Rise and Giggles, and Fireside Flurry. So I think it is Fireside Flurries. The notes to this one are toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere wood. Yeah, this smells a little cloud-esque, so I think this is the top that matches to this one. 
Okay, picking a random top. <laughs> this is quite difficult because I don't I don't know what these smell like yet. I sprayed them in the tops, but I don't know which one is which. Okay, this smells like berries. It almost smells like pink berry clouds, but it doesn't have that like the like murky watery scent to it. Let's see. Snow kissed icicles, fluffy balsam, and vanilla bourbon. I'm gonna assume it's sleigh rides and giggles. We'll see. I'll put this one off to the side. So it does, it smells green and sweet, like a marshmallow type of scent, but not just like slightly fruity, not too floral. So that's why I'm going to pick this one. I think it's the balsam that I smell. Okay. I think, yeah, sleigh rides and giggles, snow kissed icicles, fluffy balsam and vanilla bourbon. Smells like pink berry. What's it called? Pink berry clouds. I didn't like that one. I took it back. I can't remember. Okay, now this one reminds me of the one that came out in the summer. Um, Midnight Swim. I don't have Midnight Swim. I used to have it, but it made me nauseous, so I had to return it. This pulls very unisex. It's very fresh and soapy. Like fresh as in like aromatic. So I think that it is Twinkling Midnight Sky. The notes to this one are Midnight Flower, Sparkling Vanilla, and Ice Blackberry. Now, I don't know if I got this one by mistake because I typically do not like um, blackberry fragrances from Bath & Body Works. Since they smell a little medicinal to me, but this smells like, like a cologne soap. Definitely reminds me of uh, Midnight Swim. I think that was the name. I don't know. It's not bad, but it's definitely, this one I think is going to put a lot of people off. The girls who don't want to smell even slightly unisex. Okay. This is Joy. That is Sugared Snickerdoodle. I know it. Why are you yelling? Well, think to yourself in your head. The notes to this one are snickerdoodle spice, cream and vanilla, and sugar musk. This smells so good to me. This smells like a Lorna Doom sugar cookie. It's very buttery, but not buttery like um like the other one. What was the other one? Confetti cake pop. Not like, it doesn't smell like butter cake batter. It smells like a done cookie. Okay, yeah, this one, this smells so good. This is not for the girls who don't like spice. If you don't like kitchen spice, step away from this one because this one is so yummy, spicy, like super gourmand. This is definitely gourmand. What was, did I ever remember the name to the other one, Confetti Cake Pop? It's, it's buttery like that one, but it doesn't smell like raw cake batter. Airplane. Yeah, I like this one. This is one I would have definitely gotten a lotion to. This, I like. Yummy. It's okay. All right. Let's see. I got two tops left. Here we go. Okay, this is Gingham. I know that. This is Gingham Heart of Gold. To me, it smells like Gingham, except it has like a fresh apple scent added to it, but it smells like Gingham to me. It smells like Gingham. 
if you don't like gingham i don't know that you're gonna like this because it smells like gingham so the notes are crisp golden apple creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood i guess i'll figure it out after i actually wear it but it definitely just smells like gingham and the last top should be hope which it is because this is peachy it almost puts me in the mind of whipped vanilla chiffon except let me spray it again whipped vanilla chiffon reminds me of like it has the same base to vanilla mocha cafe to me this one does not so i don't know what's in here that's different maybe it's the jasmine But I feel like this one smells a little bit more marshmallowy, but perfumey, if that makes sense. And last but not least, we have Love. The notes to this are Bubbly Rosé, Sweet Strawberry, and Pink Sugar. Oh, I guess I should have read the... There's little things on the front. Let's see. Okay, so Hope says it's Winter Peach Marshmallow. Joy is sugared snickerdoodle. And there was one more. There was peace. I didn't get that one because I figured love was going to be super fruity. And I am not going to be able to use up a bunch of different fruity fragrances because I'm just not. So that one was like raspberry bellini or something like that. This one is cotton candy champagne. I was not. Mm -hmm, I was not going to pass that. A cotton candy scent because I love cotton candy. Uh huh. Okay, so this smells like another one that I cannot remember the name to. Why I can't remember the name to this one, and it was one of my favorite champagne sprinkles. It smells like champagne sprinkles minus the the icing, because that one smells. It has like a cakey scent to it. This one doesn't have the cake scent. It's just a sparkling. It's just a sparkling, fruity scent. Sweet strawberry, pink sugar, bubbly rosé. That's exactly what it smells like. It's just a sparkling fruit, very sweet. Still reminds me of Razzles. If you've ever had a Razzle, that's, that's this. This smells like Razzles, which smells like champagne sprinkles minus the vanilla note. So I think that's it. That's all I got. That's everything. I can rank them, I suppose. So let's see. Least favorite. Twinkling Midnight Sky. Don't even have to think about it. This one, like I said, it's okay. Um, but I'm just having like, it's just got this weird scent to it. If you smell Midnight Swim, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to smell this and understand what I'm saying. It has this odd note that I feel like if I keep smelling, it's going to either give me a headache or make me nauseous. So this is number, I have nine things here. So I think number nine, Twinkling Midnight Sky. I guess I'm going to go with Gingham Heart of Gold in number eight, only because it smells like Gingham. Nothing too special. Number seven, I'm going with Love because to me, this is more like traditional bath and body works is in that like velvet sugar um what's the other one velvet sugar uh raspberry chiffon it's right in in line with those like if you have those you are not missing out on anything unless you really 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 want the christmas packaging then go for it otherwise i mean it smells like everything else bath and body works ever makes let's see Okay, I'm gonna go. I want to say fireside flurries, but I'm not saying fireside flurry. I'm gonna go with pure wonder. Number six, pure wonder. 
Okay, five, I'm going Fireside Flurries. And not because it's not like a really good scent, but just because Colors. I have a few other things in my collection that smell exactly like this. Cloud, for example. Midnight Bloom from Victoria's Secret. So I'm just gonna put this in a number five spot, even though like the scent itself deserves to be higher. And top four. Sleigh rides and giggles just because it does remind me of pink berry clouds. But it smells better than pink berry clouds to me, but they do smell very similar. So I'm gonna put this in the number four spot just because it doesn't smell um pink berry clouds smelled rancid when I wore it. So I guess I could put this in the fourth spot. We'll see. I'm sure this will change around a lot after I actually wear them. And number three, we have Hope. Okay, so I'm going to add this in because the video, as you can see, takes a little unexpected turn. So what I wanted to say about Hope is the peach in here does not smell... Um, like an armpit I know peach is a is a it's an odd note for some people me included sometimes it smells sour but this doesn't smell sour mm -mm. Like, I don't know what that is it the jasmine or is like the mer is meringue an actual note or is it just like just some little fancy term they decided to throw on with vanilla I don't know but yeah, so far it's not very sour. Of course, I haven't worn it, but it doesn't, it's not a sour peach scent. So, okay. So, top two classic flannel and joy. Which one wins? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go up with joy in the second spot just because it's so gourmand that if I'm not feeling well, it will make me nauseous. And flannel is number one because because why would I not want to smell like this? Why would I not want to smell like this? This smells so good. I don't even know. If I'm gonna be nice and let Phil have it, or if I'm just gonna keep it for myself. I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. I'm not that nice. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you next time.